Hey there, welcome to LSAT Demon Daily. I'm Nathan Fox, one of the co-founders of LSAT Demon. With me is Eric Johansson. He is one of our teachers at LSAT Demon. We have an email here from Aiden. Hello, I'm currently thinking about what it will mean to apply to law schools. My previous degree program dual enrolled me, so I now have both a BA and a Master's of Divinity. I currently have a 161 on the LSAT, though I'm working to increase it. My undergraduate GPA was a 3.91. My GPA on my Master's of Divinity is a 3.86. How extensively do you think a higher level degree factors into the admissions process? Do you think it's likely to open doors to schools and scholarships that I would not be eligible for from my undergraduate degree alone? If so, how should I determine which schools to apply for? Thanks for the help, Aiden. Hate to break it to you. Um, they, they just don't care really about master's degrees. Master's degrees are the kind of a dime a dozen. I'm sorry, but they are. There's some that are, you know, more prestigious than others. And if your master's of divinity comes from a very prestigious school, or if it's, you know, the well-known as the number one master's of divinity in the world, you know, if it's from, I don't know, like if it's a I would imagine Harvard probably has the best master's of divinity degree that's available, but I, I don't think, I, I don't, and I'm speaking as someone who has two master's degrees. I, I just think that they're, you know, it's, it's a, I think that they are largely, um, luxury products. It's kind of like a vanity degree and the, it's not your, thankfully for you, because your undergrad GPA is higher than your master's, uh, GPA that master's GPA is not going to weigh down your undergraduate GPA that they're going to use to calculate your law school admissions case. I can see some admissions office somewhere being like, you know, this adds to the diversity of like, I remember at Hastings when I, when I went there, they had like a, an info sheet about all of the different characteristics of the incoming one L class. And if you're probably going to be the only person with a master's of divinity coming in, and so they might think that that, you know, they're patting themselves on the back that, that they might think that that makes them look good somehow, but it's real hard to put that into the spreadsheet that they're going to use for their first cut. And mm -hmm. it, that's not something that's going to flow through to the American Bar Association 509 report. I have a hard time thinking that this is making any difference on your law school admissions case. What do you think? Yeah, I was just going to ask whether you thought a traditionally faith-based institution might care. Like, I don't know, Notre Dame comes to mind as a university that has a reputation of being based in faith. And are they going to like a Masters of Divinity on a resume? I suppose it depends on, you know, what deity you were studying. <laughs> Sure. You know, like I would yeah. think you would need to match the divinity to the unit to the university there mm -hmm. in order because, right, I would think that a master's of divinity, wherever it's from, is going to play very differently at Notre Dame and at BYU. Then again, or, to your point about diversity, maybe those schools have <laughs> uh, maybe masters of divinities coming out their ears. They maybe they many. like it if yeah. they have somebody from a, a different faith background who knows i don't yeah. know i i don't i don't think this i don't think it's a pro or a con necessarily yeah i think you're right though asking which should how should i determine which schools to apply for um i suppose to eric's point you know matching up those uh matching up the faith tradition might might help you otherwise certainly not going to help you with tuition based scholarships from the schools. And I think you just need to go to lsatdemon.com forward slash scholarships, use our scholarship estimator, put in your LSAT that you think you're going to be able to achieve, put in your GPA, which is good. I mean, you're, you're in a good spot right now on the LSAT and you've got good undergraduate grades. So you should be hoping to get full ride scholarships from lots of schools. I think if you apply broadly, if you apply totally. to the right kinds of schools. Yep. Yeah. Apply broadly. That's the main thing. Yeah. 
Right. I, I, I'm sensing from Aiden's email that um, they want to apply to like a couple schools. And I, I would just really encourage you to apply to 10 or 15 or 20 schools, cast a wide net, and you will see good offers. Definitely. Thanks, Aiden. Yeah, thanks, Aiden. Email daily at lsatdemon.com if you'd like to ask us a question or share some LSAT or law school admissions news. Thanks for listening. Thank you.